Hey YouTube, what's going on? So today I'm up on the roof again with the solar panels. I don't know why I'm giving you the thumbs up, but I am. Uh, I'm gonna do a couple of the suggestions from the last video. A couple of those are, one of them is gonna be pulling up the panels and then wiring them in a three series configuration. So I'll just do a one, two, three, and a one, two, three to raise the voltage. And I believe that will help with cloudy days. It might raise the amps just enough to keep charging. And since I am using a MPPT solar charge controller, it will help with that as well. The second thing I'm going to do is loosening all the mounting bolts I have and I'm going to scoot the panels over just a little bit because these washers are really thick and they're going to leave little mini shadows on some of the solar cells. I don't know how much of a difference that will actually do. The third thing I'm going to be doing is that top three panels. I had put the junction box on the lower end not thinking it was going to be a big problem but another comment was to turn them around the other way because of moisture especially in like the morning time the reason I did it with the junction box down at the lower end before was I wasn't sure how much wire I actually had to use to connect the panels to the little junction box here and especially if I wire them in the 3 series that should be no problem I'll have plenty of wire to do that and let's see maybe the fourth thing would be I'm gonna use zip ties to zip tie the wires up underneath the panel so they're not laying on the roof or anything like that that's what I plan on doing let's get to it So instead of putting these real thick washers down the center to hold the panels down like I was doing, I might swap it out for this thin washer because that way it won't leave that real big shadow. And I think what I'll do with these is how I was holding down the corners right down there, you know, to make the L bracket. I'll just use the extras of these to do that. That way I don't have to buy anything or make anything.
If you look to the right of that bolt right there, you'll see the little mini shadow I was referring to in the last video. That's what I was trying to avoid by using a smaller washer, but it looks like I really can't get away from it. But if I had the square washer up there, it would have been a lot bigger. You can see how big that shadow is right there, so that's pretty much what I was trying to avoid. And here's another view. So I guess with the smaller washer down the center, uh, it does help just a little bit. I don't know how much that will affect the panels or not, but I guess anything helps, right? And to avoid any more shadowing on the west side of the panels, I just put the square washer down a little bit lower onto that little edge right there. I think that'll work out pretty good. Well, we're all back to normal and things in their final resting place. And hopefully I won't have to come up here to do much except for maybe clear off the panels. I think adding the smaller washers down the, at least the centers, will help out with some of that shadowing. I'm not sure how much it will really affect the panels, but I mean, the time is about 6.15 p.m. I'm not gonna hurry up and run downstairs and hook up the batteries again and try to get all the wattage and amps and stuff going into the battery packs. I'll probably just do that tomorrow around noon and add that with the video. I still need to get like a circuit breaker or shut off of some sort right here. And again, my videos, I do have mistakes. A lot of you guys are helping me with those and we're all kind of learning together. There's one guy, I don't really remember his name off the top of my head, but he got pissed and he is mad as hell. You should look through the comments. He is pissed at this setup. I, I mean, I think it's fine. The only thing that's bad is my my connection right back here, which I stated in the video, which I would upgrade. I don't really see what's wrong with that, but he is pissed and he's losing all sorts of money because of people like me putting in panels like this. Pissed, I guess. I don't really know. I mean, he was mad as hell, which is fine. I mean, everybody has their opinion, which is which is true. I, I could care less what people's opinions are, but if you're gonna have that much of a reaction, pissed. Why don't you help me out? Why don't you give me a good suggestion instead of just pissing and moaning at everything? I don't know. I know like a lot of you guys are like, hey, you might wanna do this or look into that, so, Thank you, YouTubers, and all the people that are really positive about pretty much most things. Yeah, I'm not really sure what else to say, so I'm just gonna get off the roof now. But he is pissed! He is 
pissed. All right, so I wasn't able to actually make this part of the video for about two days. We had a rainy day on Monday and then Tuesday. I actually sold all those 12 volt panels I had, so I wasn't able to get down here to do this. And of course, by that time, the batteries became full charged. So instead of running any sort of test, I just plugged my refrigerator right into it. And it's been running for, I don't know, 40, actually about 50 hours so far so everything so far is doing pretty good and I would imagine if the the pack voltage was down a little further I could probably get a few more amps out of it I think I saw like 900 and like 40 or 80 something uh, watts 16 or 17 amps so that's not bad yippers and the packs are all still pretty equal or balanced I'll read them from the top over we got 394, So they're staying pretty balanced so far. Again, I don't know if since I removed all the packs and did a bunch of little touch-ups, I don't know if I need to recheck the little voltmeters to make sure they're still correct. But yeah, everything seems to be working great. Uh, the solar panels wired in a 3S configuration is is way better. I think I was still thinking about the old system that I had and it was a PWM and I just paralleled everything. So that's what I tried to do with this one was just the 2S. So far it seems like the 3S configuration is the minimum way to go. You could probably do 4S. I guess I'll just leave it plugged in for now, or at least the refrigerator plugged in and keep testing. Testing it that way. So again, I want to thank all of the YouTubers that do watch the video and do help out with comments or suggestions. Most of them I typically do. And if there is something that is horrible, he is pissed. Recommend something good. I've never said that I know all the things. Uh, it's pretty obvious that I don't. All right, so if you guys have any other suggestions, especially on circuit breakers, etc., or fuses, um, for the roof or for down here please put the comment down below because I would like to get something fairly soon and there's just so much out there it's hard to figure out exactly what to trust and if it shows up in the spam section I'll just approve it what else one of the other things I did real quick also off camera because is the audio fuse up there. I did put heat shrink around the more exposed part of the copper lugs. I didn't think anybody else needed to see that, but if you would like to see that, I could redo it. Yeah. All right, well, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. I would imagine if there's a cat paw right there. <laughs> Hi, Ben. Oh, 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 no, 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 not playing that game. Uh, be little mini shadows more uh, the uh, and on the a series. Kind of sucks doing stuff outside because you got all the cars and people yelling and screaming. At least they do that in my neighborhood. I'll just wait. I don't even know if I'm recording. Yep, I am. And here comes another car. One of the things is going to be I'm going to pick up. Pick up. There's a pickup. Scoot them over because the... What the f*** is that truck doing now? Come on, people. Damn it. I hate doing videos outside. To pick up... Uh, <sighs> Alright, we're gonna leave little mini shit on the solar shells. In three... Blech. Do is... Uh, already getting kind of frustrated. Uh, um, piles of crap. Come on, cars moisture specific and the I don't know the uh, and the and and it went pretty smooth I didn't have really any major hiccups except for the cars and the screaming baby next door and the guy using a blower on the sidewalk for like four hours some uh, but uh, our that sounded like a damn tractor yeah, I forgot what I was even saying I got my first little boo-boo. And the, the, and the cell, so they're, and, and.
and there's some beeping of course is the uh and there's a lawnmower but it's the wife so it's okay he is pissed <laughs>